Hey guys, Zalni here and welcome back to Killing Floor 1. And today's map is going to be Biohazard. Um, this, is the, this was a map made, uh, it's an early map, one of the earliest maps. Uh, I believe it was added in a community event or something from what I've read. Um, so it's made by Just Filth. And uh, it's one of those maps that um, I do not dislike because it's one of the maps I remember the most because the guy that brought me into this game when I first started out was trying to get an achievement on it so I have fond memories of it let's remove the Halloween sets because this is a normal map and uh, let's check what perk we get let's see there we go let's see I believe the map is a uh, close quarters for the most part so hopefully Okay, demolitions. That's going to be interesting. Let's see how it works out. Go back in the game. So, demolitions. Demolitions is... Um, I can say that demolitions is my favorite perk. Uh, they did explosives very well in this game. Not many games get explosives right. They always feel a bit underwhelming, but... Uh, let's try out demo. Alright. Demo has the power to deal with anything, but if stuff gets close to you, it can get dangerous. And uh, it's one of those perks that actually suffers from playing alone. Because um, you benefit a lot from having a team. Let's get out of here before we get swarmed. I think here we should be fine. very strong like I love how impactful explosives feel in this game oh shit if you grabbed me I'd be dead get out of here I don't remember the maps layout but uh, we'll manage my memories will be Coming back as we- Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Ride the lightning. Bro, you gotta chill. That thing was flying through the corridors. What was that? Also, the trader is a bit far away. I know he's a Garfas, but... Didn't know they learned to fly. Also... We're gonna do a funny trick for the Patriarch. Uh, it's one of the reasons I love uh, demo, and also one of the reasons why you know companies should not go for the perfect balance in game and just let some fun things pass. They did nerf it. What, I, what I'll do, and you'll see what I will do on the, on the patriarch. They nerfed it. <clears throat> I guess they didn't nerf it. They just, they just kind of fixed it because it was too too strong. Um, it revolved around pipe bombs and. Uh, they made it so if the pipe bombs explode too close to each other, it doesn't uh, stack the damage. Uh, let's try the Arca Bomb Propeller. Which is basically... It's a DLC weapon, I believe. It's the same as the M79, but it's more friendly. On the, you, can, you can bounce it off walls and... Uh, shoot stuff at close range. Or should I go for the M... Let's go for the M4, actually. Let's go with this. Should be fine. No armor, but... Hopefully it's not a problem. See, this map is kind of look alike, like Bedlam, but it's not as. Uh... Oh sh! Oh, like okay, okay. This time we're gonna keep the M79. The ammo's very cheap. It's only seven dosh, seven pounds for a grenade. don't really need the M16. It's not good enough at close quarters to justify the price. You can just try to keep some distance and uh, get rid of those fast guys fast. So we don't have a chance to get close to us. That guy's gonna get close to us though. Uh, it's not. Okay. Oh. Demo's a bit uh, 
on this uh, small maps, a bit scary because you cannot arm your grenades from the grenade launcher at very close range, so if they get too close, you're kind of screwed. The pipe bomb just went off, I left one there. If we don't start spawning everywhere, and trap us here. Get out of here. Okay. Let's not leave too many headless Zeds around, because... Okay. Um... Should be able to finish off the rest with the rusty pistol. Yeah, because uh, Gorfas can be scary, even if they're headless. As long as you don't run into them, it's not a problem, but they still hit hard, even if they're headless. They just can't rush you. There we go. Oh, that's a husk. Okay, the treasures. I don't know where the treasure is, actually. It's like somewhere that way. Oh, that's Sirens. Okay. Sirens could be a problem. Let's just first get closer to the trader. Let's... Uh... Oh, we gotta figure out where to go now, so let's just kill him. It's here, okay. Now, we're gonna start to have Scrakes. We're gonna... I know the pipe bombs are really strong, but uh, I didn't want to rely only on pipe bombs. Maybe the seal squeal? Well, let's see how much money we have first. Okay, so... How about... Um, the M32 is insanely strong, but... Uh, let's uh, get us go for the seal squeal, maybe. Let's buy some pipes as well. Just to have a more than one. In case we find an ammo box, we can still get some... Uh, I'm up for it. Let's run it like this, yeah. We got the this thing, the seal squeal. So the seal squeal basically shoots harpoons that stick to enemies and then explode after like a few seconds. Should be good to burst big guys. Let's see if the oh wait, put the bot armor. Shit. Oh, that's a scrake. The thing is that you cannot um, plow through enemies with this class, right? You gotta kill them before they get close. Let's see where we are going. Let's leave one pipe here. The pipes are insanely strong. Look at that. We get the. Oh, I triggered on the. The pipe bombs trigger either if it's the. If it's a Scrake, or a big guy, or a bunch of small guys. Okay, that, that, was, that, was, that was unlucky. Oh shit, we're fucked! This time we're gonna try out the Orca, because it's better, because you can bounce around the corners. Should help a bit. And we're gonna keep the seal school for big guys, and some pipe bombs just in case. We're just gonna buy a bunch of Orca grenades, because they're cheap. Uh, should be good. Got some armor as well. Just in case. This map is very hard for demo. Everything's around the corner. It's mostly the crawlers and the gorefasts. I was gonna say. Cause they... Okay. That's bad. We're gonna blow ourselves apart. <laughs> Okay, so the issue that the demo has is that um, it has a lot of uh, explosive weapons. It's basically, imagine an explosive ex expert, right, in, in real life. You're good with explosives and blowing big stuff up and big chunks of guys, but uh, you lack weapons to deal with, like, stuff that creeps up on you. So I'm gonna buy an MK23. It's a very... Uh, it's a pistol for the, um, the sharpshooter. That should allow us to one-shot things in the head. 
more consistently. I mean, it stuns stalkers as well. It basically is very lightweight. It was made. I was gonna just let me get out of here first. Holy shit. I was saying, this was made for off perk. Um, it's a very nice weapon for off perk. Because it's only two weight. And it, uh, on Hell on Earth it provides uh, the stopping power to deal with the lesser that for perks that need it. The 9mm falls off a bit in uh, Hell on Earth. Uh, try not to die to Gorfas. We can one tap these guys now, so that's cool. Hopefully, this is enough. It also has a uh, slight penetration. Oh. We're gonna try that again, but uh, with the sealed spiel. This is one of the spots that you hold up with six players. Um, it's a nice spot. You weld that door, and you only get two entrances. Well, let's get moving out of here. I want to go outside. Okay, there we go. Like one easy hit on the head. That's a very welcome Z time, honestly. They're on my yes. Oh. Oh, that's fucking seriously. No. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna try to be very careful this time. It's not easy to it's not easy to go around this map without getting trapped because everything is like around the corner, right? So we're just gonna like play it safe and go this way hopefully we can get outside like the Gorefast and the these crawlers Okay, there you go, there's a scrake there, that should not be an issue. We have the seal skill to deal with that. I think I can one-shot them with that. I mean, three-shot it, you know. Stack some uh, harpoons on him. Get rid of these Gorfas, and that... We can blast these guys. Use my grenade launcher, I still have it. We have that. Siren. Okay, now it's working out. Uh, buying the armor did help. Let's get rid of those things. And uh, oh shit, they're still alive. Okay. I think the silk the silk school should be able to deal with this scrape. Uh, yeah, alright. You just turn into tiny bits. Cool. Alright. But yeah, as I was saying, this pistol 
the, um, it's basically an upgraded uh, 9mm. The revolver also weights 2 units of weight, you know, but it's it works, it's too different from the 9mm. This one just handles like an upgraded one that can also, this one can actually one shot heads on uh, Hell on Earth. So that's very valuable. Okay, so maybe now we can sell this, buy armor for sure. And uh, maybe we just, uh, mm, let's see, so pistol's nice, seal skill is useful, just get a few pipes and uh, some ammo, we don't need 9mm ammo anyway. Now we're gonna have flash pounds, let's just reload all the weapons, make sure everything's reloaded. The flash pounds, they like to spawn early, so I'm just gonna put a bunch of pipes, because demo is being way harder, like I always had the idea that demo's like like this overpowered class, right? But no, you're like this. Oh, you're a demo expert. You're good at blowing stuff up. Shit, the sirens! I hate them. Oh well, right. I, I remember. I, of course, I put that one there. Of course, <laughs> I definitely. Jesus Christ, I get a lot of stuff. That could be bad, actually. I want to get out of here fast. Holy shit, that pipe bomb just blew below us. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Good thing we have that uh, explosive damage resistance. But we gotta move. There's still a lot of Zed left and... Uh, we're already almost out of... Uh, Kevlar. That should kill a bunch of guys, there you go. Let's uh, st stay over here for now. Well, on a second thought, let's go this way. Oh my... Okay, you guys know what? I'm done fucking around. I'll leave the experimenting for later, when we have a bit better map for playing demo. I'm about to show you why demolitions experts all around the world love the M32, and it's a fan favorite. No flash bomb. Oh, what the? Come out of the garage. In my garage. What flash bomb? Oh. Thanks, Clots. Very kind of you. There we go. <clears throat> now, we gotta reload our M32. Because you, you can easily shoot while reloading, right? You didn't get stuck in an animation or anything. Let's keep ourselves top, topped off. We don't want to stay still for too long around here. Right, we left some pipes there. So if any big guy comes behind us, we should be able to deal with them. Alright, but yes, the M32 grenade launcher, like, it's, you could say it's the strongest weapon, because, like, you can compare it to the law, but with the M32 you can carry so many weapons, and uh, with the law you just, you're stuck with the 9mm, which is on Hell on Earth, you basically rely on your team. It's an easier way to take bigger targets on Hell on Earth, but um, by carrying the rocket launcher, you also become unable to carry any, any other gun, like a sidearm, like this thing. It's very useful when you're playing alone. So there you go. It's patriarch time. See? All you need to do is embrace the meta. 
But okay, so now we're gonna do something funny, right? I always love doing this. So we're gonna sell everything. We don't need weapons. I mean, oops, I saw the wrong thing. So all we need is pipe bombs. And we're gonna do something funny. Hopefully it works. So all you wanna do is find a wall, right? And you find the right angle. And you place pipe bombs, right? And if you do it in the right angle, you're placing them on your head. And I know you already kinda can tell where this is going, right? Now, I assume that this is able to... Um, they did it... Ah, by the way. Uh, you might think, oh, this is overpowered. This can one-shot any Patriarch and any difficulty. They did not nerf this kind of technique. Also, um, stacking pipe bombs on the ground has been nerfed like long ago, because uh, two pipe bombs that explode at the same time don't do the damage of two pipes. It has, like, uh, diminishing returns, right? But it, it, that's what I'm talking about. They made it a little less overpowered, so you cannot one-shot six men Hell on Earth Patriarch. But you can still do damage. And you kill yourself, so... Let's see. Let's see, where is he? Where is this? I, th I hope we can kill him with this. And he doesn't shoot a rocket at us. My ears are gonna explode from this, like, it's so loud when it explodes. Hopefully. He doesn't shoot us with a rocket. Kinda of scared to go in long corridors. Because if he shoots us. I cannot hear him because the beeping is insane. <laughs> oh shit, we didn't kill him. <laughs> Alright, it's not enough. So we gotta do something else. We gotta do a bit more damage <laughs> with something else. It's kind of funny though, I always love doing that. Let's try again. Okay, you know what? I might know why that those pipe bombs didn't kill him. Although that was more than enough pipes to kill a, a patriarch. Um the reason that they didn't kill him is because of the... Um, well, it's both the stacking mechanic... Uh, like, every successive pipe bomb that detonates on that guy... Um, like, uh, if you blow up a pipe, it gets like a buff for 3 seconds that the, the next pipe does less damage. And if uh, the second one blows, it gets a stacking buff, right? So, um, the thing is that the pipes killed me, and as soon as the, the, like the third or the fourth pipe killed me, maybe the second even, the guy stopped taking damage from the pipes. So that's why it probably didn't kill him. It's still fun to do in multiplayer, though. You just take yourself out with, with the guy. It takes a big chunk of damage. And, uh... Okay. No more he's close by. You know what? We're gonna weld this. Make him shoot that. Oh. He stepped on a pipe, apparently. There he is. When the pipe indeed. Shit. This is the end of you. I wonder where he went. Where did he go? Maybe this way? The annoying thing is that I only have a pistol now. This is a real Let's put one here. Oh shit! Okay, uh, I'm done messing around with this guy. <laughs> We're actually gonna try to kill him for real this time. I'm just gonna put a bunch of pipe bombs everywhere. And, uh, he's gonna regret coming near this place. We're gonna refill on pipes. Like, it's, it's compared to all the other runs so far. Demo, and Demo is, was one of my favorite classes. Like, I'm just struggling so hard to get this done. Okay. So he spawned uh, in the same place as before, cool. We're just gonna go down here. What could go wrong, right? We're totally not gonna get trapped in here with him again. Surely that's not gonna happen, right?
Okay, went to heal. It's somewhere above here. Well, good luck getting to me. Oh! How did he get here? What the f... How did he get there? Okay. Actually, what the hell, man? Tommy is not here. And he went away. Okay, he wasn't here. There's two pipes here. Right? Jesus Christ, how did he get here? I swear to God, I don't know. Did I forget like an access down here? There's gonna be two ways. I think. Where is he? I'm actually scared now. Because he can one-shot me. I think there's some pipes there. Right? Nice, there we go. He's dead. Holy crap. Like, how did he get there? That scared me. Holy crap. That was a very tough one. It took me a lot of retries to get back to this wave and... Uh, yeah, here we go. Demo struggles a lot. Like, Demo, in its own perk, doesn't have uh, a lot of weapons for close quarters, so you always end up using a, a backup pistol from another class as a cross perk, or a Winchester or a shotgun, because you really need something for close quarters. Um, at least in single player. Like, uh, if you're playing with more people, Demo feels like a powerhouse. Um, Alright, like, uh, Biohazard is a nice map. Uh, but uh, it's very close quarters again, like, you always end up, uh, you know, it's like, you always end up uh, struggling with these kind of perks, and unless you're really good, but um, so far it was probably one of the hardest runs. Um, next time it's gonna be bi bio Biotic Slabs, so um, that one's gonna be nice to play. I hope we get a good perk, like a precision perk, like Commando or Sharpshooter. It's gonna be interesting if we do. Alright, uh, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.